So, Savant syndrome is a rare condition in which people with various developmental disorders, often including autistic disorder, have one or several amazing abilities or talents, despite having significant cognitive or developmental challenges in other areas. These savants display what is called islands of genius. Their island is a ability that is sharply in contrast with their overall cognitive functioning. For instance, a person with limited verbal communication skills may possess an island or an extraordinary ability to play a musical instrument or calculate complex mathematical problems. In one study which recruited 137 autistic individuals, they found that only 15 of these 137 displayed an exceptional cognitive cognitive skill that was superior by up to one standard deviation when compared to results taken from a neurotypical healthy adult population. 16 of the 137 displayed some ability that was outstanding compared to their own average score in other areas by up to two standard deviations. One interesting fact is that in the study, no individual with a non-verbal IQ below 50 met the criteria of having a savant-like skill. Thus, there seems to be a lower cap of developmental challenges where, if one is below it, it seems to be unlikely that the individual would display savant syndrome-like skills. The neurological basis of savant abilities is not yet fully understood, but researchers believe that this phenomenon may be related to unique brain structures or alternative neural pathways. There's this idea of innate versus acquired skills and savant abilities can manifest in different ways. Some individuals display innate talents from a very early age while others may acquire their extraordinary skills later in life and this often follows brain injury or illness. So what this suggests in relation to the idea of a different brain structure is that you're either born with a different brain structure or the brain gets altered in such a way that it causes these rerouting of neural pathways. Now, perhaps one of the most famous examples of Savant Syndrome is a fictional one, and it's from the movie called Rain Man. However, Rain Man is inspired by an actual Savant, whose name was Kim Peek. Now, Kim Peek was a man who memorized over 12,000 books and had encyclopedic knowledge of geography, music, literature, history, sports, and nine other areas of expertise, including the Bible. One of his skills was memory, as you might have guessed. He could name all the US area codes, as well as major city zip codes. He also memorized the maps in front of telephone books, back when they were still a thing, and he could tell you how to get to, from one place to another using that knowledge and a skill that developed later on was advanced musical talent. One of his particularly unique abilities was to read extremely quickly. He could simultaneously scan one page with the left eye and the other page with his right eye. If you're thinking about intelligence, this guy must score off the charts, but you would be wrong, at least if you looked at conventional measures of intelligence. He was tested in 1988, by professionals and his overall IQ score was 87, so almost one standard deviation below the norm. Despite that, some of his verbal and performance tests varied greatly, some scores falling into the vastly superior range of intelligence and others in the developmentally challenged areas. Interestingly, when talking about the brain structure, MRI scans showed that his brain did not have a corpus callosum. That is essentially a mass of tissue that connects our left and right hemisphere of our brains. So it would seem that those born without a corpus callosum somehow develop an alternative channel of neural communication between the two hemispheres. And perhaps this resulting structure allows the two hemispheres to function in certain respects as one giant hemisphere, putting normally separate functions under the same roof. If that's the case, then Peak may owe some of his talents to this particularly abnormal brain structure that he was born with. So according to Peak's father, 
Francis Peake, Kim was able to memorize things from the age of 16 to 20 months old. So going back to the idea of an innate versus acquired, we, we have a pretty good idea that Kim Peake was born with these abilities. There was an innate ability, perhaps due to the uh, unique construction or physiology of his brain structure. Peak was outgoing and sociable, which was uncommon for many people who have Sedan Syndrome. He did have coordination problems. He walked with a sidelong gait. He couldn't button his clothes. He couldn't manage the chores of his daily life. While I mentioned that he memorized the Bible and it was a great interest of his, he couldn't, for example, explain the meaning behind many of the proverbs written in the Bible. So the very limited capacity for abstraction. Overall, Kim was a genius in many different islands, but well below the average adult ability in many others. A very interesting person to read about. So what do you think about this man with a strange brain? Let me know. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.